In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Wouldn't it be great, he was thinking, this average-looking young man in the drab apartment, just about to put into the microwave another one of those tasteless dinners. Wouldn't it be great if, if my gorgeous neighbor next door would ring the doorbell? And wouldn't it be great if she would come and she would say to me, I have two steaks. Would you come and have dinner with me? And wouldn't it be great if when I got to her apartment, that blacked out ball game was now on her TV, her giant screen TV. Wouldn't it be great if she said to me, Would you like a gold stone beer? Those commercials were so popular years ago. That one and some others like that. Wouldn't it be great? Well, wouldn't it be great if we could steal tonight? Wouldn't it be great if we could steal trick or treat? Wouldn't it be great if we could incorporate that? Well, well wait a minute, we, we did. Pope Gregory did. And he took what was then a very pagan celebration and turned it into somewhat of a Christian observance. You see, about 1,600 years ago, the Celts started this. The month of November was the beginning of their year. And that evening, before the beginning of that year, they celebrated bonfires, sacrifices to animals and to plants also. But they believed that that next day, the spirits of the dead would come back. And the spirits would go into people, if they were good. Or animals, if they weren't. And during this ceremony, they would dress up in all kinds of weird costumes. And they would go door to door. They would go knocking on the door and say something that wasn't trick or treat, but it was similar. And they had the pumpkins, yes. The whole business was incorporated right there. But it was also a gory mess. But isn't it now? Well, yes, Pope Gregory did change it somewhat, and he changed it so that we would honor those people on all Saints' Day, which would come after the eve. And he would, we would honor those people that had died. But the word is honored. And we've borrowed some things that are still very primitive now, and we exercise those in a society when we need to be thinking about something differently. What are we doing? We're glorifying blood shed because of violence, and we're not talking about the blood of sacrifice shed by Jesus Christ. We're talking about the fear of death. We're talking about dressing up in weird costumes like they did then and approaching one another with the idea that violence is okay for tonight because we're pretending. And we can watch movies that somehow make murder acceptable. 
Well, I think the Pope didn't go quite far enough. He took some things, but there's some things that still exist in our society. And wouldn't it be great if we could change those? Wouldn't it be great if we could have a night of love? Love? Who wants to have a night of love? Jesus said, love God. Love your neighbor. Wouldn't it be great if we really could? Love your God with all of your heart and with all of your mind and with all of your soul and with all of your being. And you know if you do that, you're not going to have any trouble with the other one. You'll automatically love your neighbor as yourself. You can't do anything else. Love God with all of your heart, with all of your sensibility, with all of your passion, with all that you are. Because God is, is trying to reach out to us. God is trying to connect with us, with our emotions. That's what Jesus is saying. Let God know that you know that He loves you. That He cares for you. That He's trying His best to protect you. There's a story that I read in the paper, so I know it's true. On this occasion, a woman was driving uh, along a back road, and she noticed this huge truck behind her. She felt he was going a little bit too close, and so she speeded up, and he speeded up. Well, she made a turn, and he made a turn, and she's beginning to think something's wrong here, and so the light is about to change, and so she went through the light, but the big truck went through the light too. Now she took an off-ramp, and he took an off-ramp. She got back on the highway. He got back on the highway. She went fast and he went faster. And he was on her. And she says, I've got to get away. She took a road that she knew went to a gas station. And she wheeled off, went into the gas station, running in the door. And the man in the truck did not run after her. Instead, he ran to her car. And jerked open the back door and pulled out a man who had been lying in the back seat. Yeah. Yeah. He could see, you see, from the big truck, he could see down and he could see that he, she was, he was hiding. Sometimes God is trying to protect us and we're ignoring him. Or we don't believe that He is. We need to welcome the love of God. So that we can love our hearts to His heart. Wouldn't it be great if we could love God with all of our heart? Wouldn't it be great if we could love God with all of our mind? With all of our sensibilities? Because many times God is talking to us and we will not be quiet enough to listen to Him. We're jabber, 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 jabber and God is giving us some directions and we're hearing them or we're hearing them wrong because we're not listening to God or we're not understanding God. Wouldn't it be great if we could love God with all of our minds, meaning that we would try to tune into Him so that He could get through to us? It's easy to misunderstand. I can understand how my preschool teacher felt. 
Some years back, I was the rector of a church that had a preschool. Cute little kids. But at the end of the day, the teacher would have to get the little kids dressed back in their warm outfits because it gets really cold in Ohio sometimes. And so on this one occasion, the teacher is trying to get the, uh, the boots on the little kid. And they're cowboy boots. And she thinks, my goodness, eh, his mother is not getting the shoes that he needs because these, these boots are too tight. And so she's struggling with a boot and he's struggling with a boot and they're trying to get the boot on. And, and finally they get the boot on. Now the other boot, and the other boot. Now they get both boots on. Miss Johnson, yes, they're on the wrong feet. So now she goes, takes the boot off and tries both struggling to get the boots off. And finally, puts the boots back on. Very, very hard to get them on, but she finally gets them on. Those aren't my boots. <laughs> they struggle again to get the boots off. Finally gets the boots on. Mommy told me to, to wear them this morning. They're my brother's boots. But she couldn't find mine. Oh, get the boots. Get the boots back on. Finally, the boots are on, and she's going, she's putting his little warm coat on, and she says, where are your mittens? I don't have to tell you, do I? <laughs> I put them in my boots. <laughs> we, we, need, we need to listen. To God too. Because God is trying to get through to us. Wouldn't it be great. If we could love God. With all of our minds. Wouldn't it be great if we could love God. With all of our soul. And that's the part of us that connects to God. That's completely different from any animal. We have a soul. And God connects with that soul. Through the Holy Spirit. If we could just stay connected. And then sometimes we get disconnected. We have in our home, I guess I can tell you this, a corded phone. I think only old people have those, but uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, but we also have a couple of places in the house where we have. Uh, a phone that you can use uh, that's not corded because it's plugged in to uh, a uh, electrical outlet. But it's coming off of that phone. But there are times when I pick up that phone and it's dead because I have failed to plug it in. Don't we sometimes feel spiritually dead, you and I? And we realize that the reason we do is we haven't stayed plugged in. Wouldn't it be great if we remembered to stay plugged in to God's Spirit so that we could love God with everything that we are? Wouldn't it be great if we could love God with all of our hearts, with all of our soul? with all of our minds, with all of our energy. Yeah. Wouldn't that be just great? Amen.